Yo, so I recently made a video, well I made two videos, discussing movement in Spark and Zero and what it's going to be like. And since then, a lot of people have voiced their opinions, left their comments, and I think I've got a general idea and understanding of what the fan base wants in movement. And I think there's two sides to this coin, and there's a lot of people that have voiced their opinions. So let's get into it and let's get into the discussion. Those two sides and, you know, what could be right at the end of the day, and for what reasons as well. So firstly, I want to clarify what I mean by movement. I don't mean gameplay speed, I don't mean combo speed, cutscene speed, chaining together combos, the speed of that, I don't mean that. What I mean by movement speed is specifically moving your character. And in Tenkaichi 3, there were two options of movement. There was the regular dash just by tapping A or X, and then there was the order dash, right? It's like the super dash where you can dash in any direction. Kind of, that's what Xenoverse has, and that's what Raging Blast has. So in Raging Blast, they dumbed this down, they dumbed down the controls. The gameplay is immaculate in Raging Blast, don't get me wrong, I love it. But they did dumb down the movement controls, and that's why I still love Tenkaichi 3, or just any of the Tenkaichi games over the Raging Blast games, even though those games are super smooth and very enjoyable to play. So now that you understand the context, let's get into the two opinions of the fan base. So let's get into the opposing side, or I would say more the majority of the fan base. So the majority of the fan base thinks that even if this game has Raging Blast controls, it'll probably be faster than Raging Blast. Not only that, they believe it's a good thing. And I've also heard a good argument for online play, and Tenkaichi 3 wasn't built for an online audience wasn't with online in mind i mean tenkaichi so the series right so when they create this game they got a picture they got to keep in mind balancing issues when it comes to movement so a lot of fans really don't mind this game having simplified movement i would call it like raging blast where you hold one button in and you do a order dash you just order dash by holding one button in. and in tenkaichi 3 you would press two buttons to order dash when you press one button you just kind of do a, a slower dash but if you press l2 with the, the dash button you do a faster and they they took the first movement option out in the Rage of Blast. So that is the majority of fans. Majority of fans are saying, right, we all gonna buy the game regardless, and that's that. Stop complaining, you are talking about nothing. You're saying a whole lot of nothing. But then there's the other side of the coin, and this is the side of the coin that I would say I'm on. And that is the people that want more, more advanced movement options. We kind of want that. We want the game to be harder, so that there are more things to learn. Not saying that the combos are going to be slower or the gameplay techniques and mechanics are going to be slower, but the movement, the simplified movement, would be a disappointment to, you know, that side of people. Uh, I'm included in, in, that, in that group of people. So that's, this, that's the whole thing. Simplified movement for better balance. Simplified movement for better online balance when it comes to movement in general. And that probably contributes to the simplified controls. The overall not a bad thing. It looks nice. Um, there's probably a lot of other benefits that I'm not taking into account. But then there's the other group of people like me that, that want more options. That doesn't want it to be as hand-holdy. And it did feel like Raging Blast was more hand-holdy than... And it did feel like Raging Blast was holding your hand more than Tenkaichi 3. You have to press one less button to do a combo. That's not that bad, I will admit, it's not that bad. And and in today's modern audience, I also saw a good comment. Game, ga gaming has just changed, the, the ecosystem has changed. First of all, the engines aren't the same. Second of all, the people aren't the same. Anyway, so those are the two sides of the coin. I just wanted to get this out. I wanted to just, people's opinions have opened my mind to me just being okay with it. But I think I will stick to Tenkaichi 3, genuinely, even after this game comes out. I will play it, I will buy it, I will own it, just like everybody else, yes you can comment, but it won't be my favorite, it won't be the new Tenkaichi 3, definitely won't be, honestly I hope that the new things that we've been hearing from the interviews that the creative director or producer from the Budokai Tenkaichi series is in close contact with the people that are developing this game at Spike Chunsoft, so that's good, but, and if the move is simplified, it is what it is, but it would be a shame, that's my whole point. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That's what the Dragon Ball fan base thinks of the Dragon Ball Sparking movement. Have a good day. Keep well. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested. Stay tuned. Bye bye.